Hello, good evening, guys. How are you doing? This is called the Witness Without Identity Podcast. This podcast will be the greatest podcast. I mean, this podcast. I'm trying to sound like Trump. Uh, this podcast is gonna be a, a, about uh, witnessing. It, 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 I, I have an introduction already, but it's a podcast that's about witnessing without identifying with ourselves what is happening. And what is happening right today, today is, guys, is the coronavirus. That's the main issue here that's, that's affecting our life. And we know it, it, it has affected my life. It has affected all of our life. So guys, I'm asking you guys, do not worry. I, but I'm only saying that to my brothers and sisters that are totally embedded in the spiritual world. How can we do that? We have to remove all of our thought, all of our fear. Remove all of that. Don't worry about that. Everything will be okay. It's, it's, it's not easy to say it is what it is. It is it is the fact that everything will be okay. Let's compare that to what happened back in the days. We had World War One, World War Two. This wasn't a virus that that wasn't. I mean, this virus is bad. It kills people. But you look at the amount of people that died in World War One, World War Two. And so it was a lot worse. It, it was a lot worse than what we have now. And the fear of death was more prevalent, and you know it was a total chaos in the whole world. It is chaos now too. I'm not. I'm not trying to minimize what's going on. It is a chaos, but let's be real, guys. We are strong, and we have overcome. We have overcome the worst. And let's not even add all the all the wars that happened in the ancient history. What about all those things? What about all the disease that happened in uh, the the Spanish flu or whatever? All those things that happened way back. We overcame all of those. Now that I understand there is it's 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 legit to have a fear because we don't know how far how long this thing is gonna stay. But guys, let's think about this. We have an exp exp expiration date. There is an expiration date. They say the maximum the vaccine should come in 18 months. So you see, like when when you have a war, right? When you have like a war, World War One, World War Two, there's no expiration date. You will you will ex the, everything will expire when you defeat the enemy. But they're gonna figure out how to have a vaccine. Those guys are experts. They know how to do it. They, the coronavirus is not bigger than the science that's out there. It just takes time to develop the vaccine. They're gonna they're gonna figure it out. If not sooner than 18 months. So I'm optimistic about it, and I want to. And I'm asking people to be clear-minded about this. Let's stay clear. Let's not lose our mind and going all over the place buying toilet paper. I'm like, what does toilet paper have to do with safety? I don't, I don't understand. Some people are weird. Like, I mean, I, I'm thinking like food or like medical supply or like if people buy toilet paper. <laughs> I don't know. Because, uh, I mean, uh, let's not talk about this because uh, I don't want this to be a shit show. <laughs> not to be funny. But uh, but um, but this is what's weird about this. Like, um, like when you look at it like uh, uh, paper towel or, or stuff like that, like you look at like paper towel, uh, people buying a lot of weird things. I, I can understand hand sanitizers. That makes sense. Hand sanitizers make sense because that's like something that's needed and we, we need it badly. So, um, I strongly believe that guys that we will overcome this. It's not going to be the end of the world. The coronavirus is going to come and live and nobody is going to and I mean, people will be affected, but um, it will not be as bad as we think. But that doesn't mean that we should be uh, nonchalant about this. We should care about this. We should be vigilant. We should watch our back and try not to go out, not try not to assemble next to people. Me, from, for, for me, the coronavirus is a good thing for me because I'm, I've never been a social guy. So it's kind of good. So I don't have to go out. So it's good, but the only problem is that I work with people. <clears throat> but let's see what happened with that. Like, uh, I, I I work with people, but I still think that I can overcome. Like, like uh, everything will be okay. Like, um, so basically, when we look at this, um, what is it? This uh, this video, we're talking about witness without identity so we're talking about witnessing things without identifying of anything so here we have a lot of issues going on in our world 
And the best way to deal with all those problems, guys, is to, to start, start living life like a spirit. Like Jesus, God said that. He said that walk in the spirit. So you do not fulfill the desire of the flesh. So, so we should walk in the spirit here. Let's not live our life as human beings. If we live as human beings, we're going to fail. We have to live as spirit, live in the universality of this, of this world, and let's not allow it to affect us. And because the coronavirus cannot kill the self, the pure self, the pure consciousness. It just can't. So this is the best time for us to go back into a, a cocoon of the self, of the inner self, of the inner consciousness. This is the best time. Let's use this, uh, this drama of virus and disease to hide in ourselves, to go back into our spiritual self, the self that cannot be touched. You know, many people right, in our world right now they look to politicians for answer. Some people look to scientists for answer, but there are people that are very wise. They go into their inner self, into their inner consciousness, and they wait for the grace of the universe or the grace of God to cure it or to de defend them. And me, that's where I am. I am. I'm asking people not to worry too much and to look at it like a, like a movie even though the, the drama is happening I'm not going to say it's a very weird nuanced thing life on the earth it's very nuanced the drama is happening it is happening people are I mean people are dying I mean it's, it's sad people are losing their life and people are getting sick but the worst thing you want to do is getting is panicking panicking will actually make it worse but I'm asking you also beyond panicking or not panicking i'm asking my beloved youtube viewers or my audience whoever they are to understand that there's a there's an inner consciousness that has no no like that has no viewers that i mean there's an inner consciousness that has no panicking that has no disease that has no that doesn't care about things like that that you you cannot destroy it the virus cannot destroy it the virus will be destroyed first and that consciousness will stay there. Remember that. Just like you know that the universe has been there before the virus and after the virus. The virus can only scale a human being, a, a biological human being. It cannot scale the inner invisible consciousness. You know, so, um, so that's what I'm going to tell my friends, uh, my YouTube viewers, guys. Uh, guys, uh, we know that uh, Trump is fighting hard and he's trying to get us some money and and i'm thankful for that that you know he's really trying to respond i'm not the biggest Trump fan but, but but i'm not a republican but if there's something that our president is doing that's good we should give him credit for that i think he's trying to do his best to to uh to push this bill to push the bill about giving us money but now the president on the, uh, the, the the Democrat candidate are making is making a mistake. Is Mr. Joe Biden? He's hiding, and that is a mistake. You should not hide in the crisis. You should stand, just like Bernie Sanders, because that means that you're watching out for yourself. You don't want to get sick. I understand that you're an old man, but you should get out of the of your cocoon and go fight the war. And you couldn't even do something like I do. You go online almost every day show that you are present you don't have to be out there in, in the in the crowd i understand you don't want to be that there you're an old man i get it but you have to show that you're talking that your your voice your words have a have, have, have a message and i have to say something trump approval rating has gone up during the during the during the crisis and andrew cuomo uh, rating has gone up why because they are out there talking all the time they're always on a, on a press conference so if you're Joe Biden and you're serious about being a candidate, you need to get out there. All right? So basically, that's my message to the world, guys. The coronavirus is not bigger than the, the true self. It's not, because, it's not bigger than uh, the true self. We know the coronavirus. We are conscious of it. The coronavirus does not know, know us. So we are the bigger self. But we are, we are looking at ourselves in a way that we are so small. I'm not saying that the diseases are not there, we should not fight the disease. 
but I'm pushing our, our human consciousness, human experience to the max, where we have to understand that any disease, even death, nothing should scare us. Okay? We shouldn't be scared of anything. Because no matter what, the contract of life is like, we eventually, all of us is going to have to die. So if that's the contract of life, it's something that's expected. We should live like it. Like, hey, that's just the way life is. You know? I understand this could sound too harsh for some people, but this is where, this is where you can become more you can evolve better in uh, when you have a situation like this because here this, this situation is testing us and it's pressing us to the max to see if we can overcome it and i think we can we can overcome it and and not be too uh, afraid of it because eventually what all the scientists are saying within 18 months or max we should be able to find a vaccine so this whole thing is going to die and we're not going to talk about it anymore that's the that's the good life but the bad thing is that this is what I'm praying for, and we all should pray for that. We don't, we don't want many casualties, and it looks like there could be. So we should try our best to stay home, not to, not to con congregate, and uh, to stay away from each other, and everything should be okay. All right, guys, this is, uh, this is what I wanted to say. Thank you.